Good morning. This is the Secure Boot microconference. Um, while we're waiting for Matthew and James to get settled, uh, I'll give a, just a, a quick overview of Secure Boot, what we're here for today, and what we hope to accomplish. Um, Secure Boot is part of the UEFI specification, and it is a trust method to prevent rootkits, basically. Um, it is not necessarily meant to be the end-all, be-all of security. However, uh, the Microsoft Client Ready logo requirements say that Windows 8 Client Ready machines ship with Secure Boot enabled. Um, this requires support in Linux if we want to actually be able to install Linux on any Microsoft Windows 8 Client Ready machine, which, as most of you probably know, is most of the hardware out there today. Um, this is laptops. This is uh, your Dell desktops, things like that. Uh, it's not necessarily servers yet. I don't personally have any information on whether that will be the case going forward, but I would assume something like it will be. Um, we don't do ARM for client stuff. Windows has their own requirements there. They say you cannot turn it off, uh, and we like it that we can turn it off. That was actually part of their requirements as well for normal laptops. Um, so <laughs> last year, Matthew Garrett gave a talk on exactly what Secure Boot is and what we've been doing to support it uh, over the course of, at the time, it was the past six months. Um, and by and large, it's, it's been a pretty good success. Uh, you can install Fedora, you can install SUSE, you can install Canonical, um, uh, Ubuntu. You can install pretty much any major Linux distribution and most of the other Linux, Linux distributions as well without ever having to go into your firmware menus and disable Secure Boot or change any other settings. Um, that has been accomplished by a lot of hard work from people like Matthew Garrett, James, Peter Jones, uh, Wojciech, and the SUSE guys. And <laughs> most of it is still out of tree, um, out of tree in the kernel. And there are a couple other pieces uh, that we're gonna talk about later for kegs at kdump that require some other changes to user space as well. Uh, so the goal for today is to take all this work that we've done, figure out exactly what our trust model is, what we want to protect against um, to keep that, that core trust in the machine and try to get it upstream and get it at least commonality across most of the major distros. So uh, it's, it's not going to be easy, but hopefully we'll get it done. Um, the first major piece actually went in just after Plumbers last year when uh, Linus finally told Rusty that he wanted signed modules. So that was kind of the, uh, the big thing to get it going. Um, I think we're going to start with Matthew, if you're ready. And Matthew is going to talk about exactly what we want to protect against and why we need to protect against it and the methods for doing that. Do you want the, this or the clip-on mic? 